we don't have the credentials, like we're just being kicked out then, basically? Yes, you're not allowed in the hotel because you don't have the proper credentials to be here. Apostles. Welcome back to another video. This video is uh, gonna be a lot of fun. We're going to VidCon. I am super excited, uh, but if you probably can't tell right now, I am in this moment exhausted. It is about to be four in the morning and I am, I am packing because I procrastinate things that don't need to be procrastinated. When I hyper fixate on stuff like content and music, I like being fully focused, but when it comes to everything else, everything bores the shit out of me. I can barely keep my eyes open. I look like I look like I just smoked a pack of Rojo Ginza. But you know what I should be doing? I should be focusing on like what am what am I doing right now? I've just been putting like I don't think I don't know. Somebody watch this back because I, I I don't think I've put a single thing in this suitcase. I've just been kind of like moving clothes around. When I drove down here. All I brought was my equipment and a suitcase full of clothes. So right now I'm just rocking with my big ass suitcase to take on the plane. So I, this is this is my baby every time I travel. All right, sons of Paul. It is, I don't even know what time it is. I think like getting close to one. So I probably should order an Uber to the airport soon, but we are packed. We are ready to go. I'm super excited. I feel well rested despite the minimum amount of hours of sleep I got. Is it minimum or minimal? Minimal. Minimal. The minimal hours of sleep. Minimal. 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 Enema. No enema. All men are friends. I have to order an Uber. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is day one at VidCon. I'm showering right now, as you couldn't tell. But as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna head on over to the convention center, pick up my badge. I think it's a badge, I don't know. I'm gonna go to the registration area and figure all that out. But yeah, today's just uh, exploring. I just wanna walk around and just kinda be free. Another thing too, is that we got a little surprise to uh, show y'all for today. Uh, you know, it's really just for, you know, people just to, you know, look us up uh, and spell my damn name right. Everyone always says S-O-N, S-E-N, my friend. What's your name? Uh, my name's Jolene. Jolene, what's your channel name? Uh, Jolene, Jolene VR. <laughs> we're, we're on a hike. Yeah, I was gonna say I, uh, we're a duo right now. We're trying to we're trying to find the entrance to this convention center. We are. Did you Ubered here? Yeah, we're so lost. The Ubers dropped us off, and then they told us to leave. They started yelling at us, and then they just dropped us off like down the street. So now we're just uh, roaming about. Yeah, we're roaming about. We're exploring uh, Cali right now. Cali is ours. So I've been here for about like two hours after that whole Uber mishap. But uh, nonetheless, I got my, my badge. 
Looks fire. I had to write my own name down. I wish they printed your name. It looks more official. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, it looks more official when they print your name. So, you know, it is what it is, but you know, I wish they kind of did that a little bit different. But the main thing I'm kind of like, eh, about is that there's kind of nothing to do on the, the first day. I mean, they got a bunch of food trucks. The weather's beautiful. I love the Cali, the Cali vibe, but the main convention center is closed off and I can't get in. So like, I don't know what, I, I knew the first day was gonna be a little bit slower, but I don't know. It's like, we're just supposed to kind of like lounge around all day. Like, I'm still having a great time though. I love running into you guys, uh, taking pictures. I, I must have like taken like over 20 pictures today. So that's always cool. I love running into you guys. So that's a plus always, but um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna get some food, go back to the hotel, kick it, and we'll see where it goes. So like, if we don't have the credentials, like we're just being kicked out then basically? Yes, you're not allowed in the hotel because you don't have the proper credentials to be here. All right, let me explain. As you have seen so far in this video, I spent my first day at VidCon exploring the convention grounds and taking photos with you guys. I eventually made my way back to the hotel only to be stopped by multiple security guards telling me I am not allowed inside. Of course, I am confused because I booked this trip weeks before and I checked in the previous night with no issues. The guards tell me that if I don't have the right badge credentials, I cannot stay at the hotel. So I'm on the phone with my team trying to figure out how to prove that we are able to stay while also simultaneously trying to talk to these security guards and I don't wish that upon my worst enemy. It's like playing drums and guitar at the same time. The security held me in a corner while talking down to me. And honestly kind of felt insulting watching all these massive creators walk around the hotel while I'm in this corner being interrogated over a mistake that they made. As this dilemma progressed, I started noticing a few people walking around who had the same badge as me going through a similar issue. They're basically saying that. They're doing to us too, dude. Really? They're doing yes. it to you? Yeah, dude, they're, they're bouncing us. They're, we got the badges. They're bouncing us. I know, right? It's happening. You guys too? Hang on y'all. Hold on. I found my clicks. I sat with them for probably another hour until they finally figured out what to do with me. We came to the conclusion that there was a big misunderstanding between VidCon and the security company and they eventually allowed me to stay, which I was super thankful for because I found out that a lot of creators were forced to leave. They told me that going forward there shouldn't be any more problems with me trying to get in and out of the hotel. Until the very next day, the same exact thing happened with the new line of security, once again concluding that I could stay. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing just kind of felt bizarre because the whole time they're talking down to me and acting like I, a creator, was not supposed to be staying at the creator hotel. Maybe I wasn't YouTube enough? Or, I don't know, maybe they just didn't read my shirt that literally says my name, my government name on it, but... It is what it is, they did their job. I'm not mad at anybody, but hopefully this doesn't happen again in the future. Anyways, back to the following day. The rest of the convention is actually gonna be open today, so there will be a lot more exploring. Hopefully uh, there will be no issues like there was last night, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I still made the most of it. I actually got to run into a bunch of uh, really cool creators. I met the Neds Declassified cast last night, which I don't know if some of y'all will know what that is, but Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide was a show on Nickelodeon, and that's a show that me and my siblings grew up watching. So um, that was kind of cool to, you know, be chilling with them in the lobby and, uh, you know, having a good time. But in terms of today, I'm excited to see what new opportunities will show themselves to me. Are you a YouTube creator? I've been creating content for two years now. And what is your channel all about? I play multiple instruments at the same time and I also kind of blend it with like comedy sketches where I play like multiple characters, but it's just all me running the show basically. Is there any investment that you made that you really felt 
you know, like an impact in your videos? I'm from Chicago, but I moved, I just moved to Nashville. So that was one place just like investing in like my environment, like where I am, Music City as a musician. That was like, I felt like that was the place to be. But yeah, it's that. I also spend on gear, uh, new cameras, stuff I stream as well. And is there any piece of advice that you would give for your younger self when you're just starting out posting videos? But if I did have to say something, I think it would just to, would to say like, you know, stop self-doubting yourself. Really believe that you can do anything you put your mind to. Is there any unexpected lessons that you learned through this journey, through your music or through your videos? Try not to overthink anything. Just, just you know, create and learn from it. Keep learning and keep learning. You know, don't worry. What keeps you motivated to do content even though know, on tough days? It, it kind of goes back to me saying that, you know, I really do believe that uh, I'm meant to be here. I think I'm on the path of to being one of one of the biggest creators ever. Um, I, I, I really just believe in myself even if no one else does, you know? And is there any YouTube channel that you recently just got into? Into interest, you know, uh, I would just recommend my own channel, you know, Aaron Paulson. You know, that's it. I would just recommend my own. It's the final day. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm so sorry. I'm like trying to talk normal, but I my voice is just just cracking and it like hurts if I put more uh, not pressure, what do you call it? Like more force when I talk. Yeah, so today's mission is literally to go out with a bang, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, everything's wrapping up right now. I'm gonna try to see if I can stay a little bit longer because somebody told me that if I had the industry badge, you know, I could stay a little bit longer, but you know how security, security is around here, so, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know, the last thing I want is to uh, get in even more trouble. What up, dude? What's your name? <laughs> Hiroshi. Hi, guys. What's up, Hiroshi? What is your YouTube channel name? It's my name, Aaron Paulson on the back. Aaron, let me take a picture. Okay. Do you got YouTube? Hi. What, what's your YouTube handle? Anime. Do you got that written down? Do you got that written down that I could take a picture of? Yeah. Oh, we're taking a picture. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Do you have your YouTube name like written down? Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Nice to meet Anime you. Anime Husuka, Husuka Bricks. Anime Husuka Bricks. Cool, I got a picture, man. Appreciate you. And he just walked away. All right, man, word up. Anime Husuka Bricks. This place got me shitting bricks, dude. Well, they kicked me out, even though I have both the creator and, oh, 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 the industry. And people are staring at me because I'm vlogging. Why are people staring at me? This is VidCon. This is VidCon. Exactly. After many long days of connecting with other creators, meeting you guys, and getting yelled at by security, it was time to come home. Hey guys, by the time of this recording, it's been a little over two weeks since my very first experience at VidCon and I kind of just wanted to sit down and give you guys like an overall, I guess my overall thoughts about it. Also to give some sort of conclusion to, to the end of this video because I kind of forgot to do that, sorry. <laughs> I think the first thing to cover, which has already been covered in this video, so I won't dive way too deep into it. I, I've already done that, but um, the, the security issue, I wish uh, things kind of went differently. I understand that uh, everyone was doing their job. I guess I'm just more annoyed that it happened, especially on the first night. And um, the fact that it, it I felt disrespected. I mean, that's kind of the big, I guess, bad of the trip. Other than that, I mean, walking around uh, the convention center 
only a few months after uh, Nam. You guys can watch the Nam video too on my channel. I also vlogged that trip. It's cool to see, you know, uh, what VidCon had to offer. I would say the the one of the really really cool things that I like is meeting other people who I guess are like me, in the sense of being a creator. They get the game. They get the um, they get they get the lifestyle. You know, I did go to a few panels, at least the ones that were kind of specifically geared towards creators on stuff that I could learn. Um, because, uh, you know, I, I am fairly new to uh, the long form. Um, if you guys have been watching since, I guess, the, the Nashville video, you guys would know that uh, we just started the long form. I'm just kind of trying a bunch of different avenues out. Um, so I thought going to some of these panels would uh, help. And some of them did. Some of them were actually super, super valuable. Uh, but there were other panels where... I feel like they brought on like really popular creators and they were just talking about the history of the channel and that wasn't the topic of the panel. The, the topic of the panel would be something like, I'm not going to use a real example just out of respect, but let's just say there was a panel that said how to cook, how to cook chicken. And instead of walking you through the process or, uh, you know, things to consider <laughs> when you're cooking chicken, it's more about the, the history of, of chicken and how you know, cooking chicken came to be. It's still cool, but it's not the point of discussion. Obviously they're doing something right because, you know, they're being invited. But when the whole panel's just kind of about like their history, it's still cool, but um, it's like, are we gonna get to the point? <laughs> Overall, like I really did have a good time. And you know, even despite all of the, the BS that was kind of going on around it, this, to me at least, was kind of one of my favorite conventions I've been to. I don't really know what it is. It's, I don't know if it's like the location, because I, I do like Cali, I like the Cali weather, but I, I kind of had more fun here. I, I, I had more fun at VidCon than I did at like NAM, and that was at the exact same place. It was in the Anah at the Anaheim Convention Center. And guys, let me know what you thought of this video by dropping a comment. Um, please support by liking and subscribing. Our community is only growing and growing and growing. So I do really like vlogging, but I do want to try other avenues. I know I've also done more long form skits and that was well received. I know you guys really like that. So I think doing uh, more of those, but I also kind of want to do more like music oriented stuff. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions or, you know, out of all the uh, types of content ideas I just gave you, uh, let me know which one you prefer. Or if you guys have some random ideas, drop them down. I'm willing to uh, go through and see what you guys think about it. But thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate all the love and support. Be sure to click the notification bell at the same time to always know when I'm uh, when, I, when I'm uploading next, when I'm cooking up. And you guys are going to keep seeing me just uh, improve and get better and better. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>